let it be known that at Meats and Cheats, we love a weather spoon. So we've decided to do a small little feature on our channel now where we go and visit weather spoons everywhere we go and give you the lowdown on how good that weather spoons is. So let's go inside our very first one, which is called Prior John. But why is it called Prior John? Some lad called John died and uh, the money that he left for people um, helped develop Bridlington. But all I know is you should get a five piece breakfast for under five quid. So let's get involved. <laughs> So we have rounded up our trip here to Prior John's. Prior John's, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. he has no priors. <laughs> or does he? Or does he? Is he a John? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a prostitute joke. Yeah. No, that's a prostitute. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. So, what we're going to do at the end of each of the videos is rate it. So we decided the top three things people care about at Le Spoons are the building. Is it cool? What's it made of? What's it look like? How far are the toilets? Are we talking a hike? Is there stairs involved? Will we ever return? And then service, because you know, people in Britain care about service. Indeed, indeed. So Leela, what do you say about the actual building, the location, the uh, the insides, the Let's inner see. workings? I'm gonna say building is only a six. I out agree, of ten for six me. out of 10. We've seen a lot better and we're gonna visit a lot better. It was nice. It was like, cool and it had some cool. interesting little like fixtures and yeah, fittings it, and things, but it, it didn't like, we, we have been to better, haven't we? Wasn't a showstopper. No. Uh, toilets, ooh. So for Brilliant. you, yours were downstairs, so you were okay, but for me, I felt like I've just like walked a country mile. I felt like Forrest Gump when he just kept running for days and days and days. Yeah. So it was a long way away, but the toilets were cool inside and did look like a church. Like, so that was quite cool. I'm gonna give the toilet situation, and obviously the lower the number means how far away they are, so yeah. I'm going to give it a four. I have traveled further for the toilets in Weatherspoons, but it was still quite a trek. Okay, I'm gonna go eight, ground floor, Really close. Ground right floor next for the to ladies. The bar for the ladies. Yeah. So, and then the service. Well, when we arrived, it was very, very busy because it is probably one of the first sunnier days of 2022. So it was Ramo, and a lot of the tables did have a lot of food on them, <laughs> which is why we came outside. Um, and the, and the food was discarded. It wasn't just sat there with people looking at it. God, it's taking. Like a right <laughs> they weren't taking yeah. photos of the food like we were, <laughs> and then eating it when it's cold. So, but no, but still, the service was nice, and the people behind the bar were excellent. They let us film yeah, uh, the pouring funny. of the pint so yeah they were lovely and uh, so I'm gonna give service a six I'm gonna guess 6.5 6.5 okay now we're gonna pretend now that we're adding this all up and working our averages but overall I'm gonna give prior John Weatherspoons a six out of ten same six yeah I think so cracking Weatherspoons really nice nice outdoor area um, but overall we've been to better ones but it's still bloody lovely so this is our review of our very first weather spoons on our channel if you liked it give us a thumbs up if you didn't like it give us a thumbs up if you really didn't like it give us a comment and tell us why you didn't like it <laughs> actually don't do that we, we can't deal with the hate so but make sure you subscribe peace out